the Lord is doing a lot of mighty things already in the lives of people as individuals and as ministry and the Lord just impressed in my heart to share with us along this line because I believe that this is one of the graces that lifts the anointing that can take men to new dimensions it will only happen when you believe the Bible declares blessed is she that believes he said for unto her not unto them unto her there shall be a performance hallelujah thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side it's one thing for your greatness to be increased but how many of you know that every time you rise in this kingdom success listen carefully i'm teaching now success has a side effect both to those who pray and seek your good and to those who will react as a result when you study the subject of success every time a man rises um, you realize that rising in life is warfare are we together because as you rise your rising destroys the excuses of people who probably would have given a reason as to why men cannot rise or should not rise and so naturally the side effect is that there will be untold battles battles from family members battles from colleagues and contemporaries even battles from mentors and those that you seek direction from are we together now when people rise um, the accolades and the claps that you receive is not all there is to the process so you you need to be comforted on every side for your rising to give you value just because a man looks at his son and gives him the coat of many colors and he goes innocently to testify not before his enemies his brothers here's what daddy did for me the brothers say oh so we are here taking care of sheep and then he gives one person out of all of us and they said let's kill him brothers conspiring most times you may not know how hostile human beings are until results begin to speak in your life every time you look like them there is no basis for fighting and quarreling for as long as the house has not been built for as long as you are a general man of god with no unusual dimension of grace it's acceptable you are friends to everyone for as long as you are at a financial level that resonates with your co-tenants or resonates with your core people no one will fight you so you will be deceived into thinking the world is such a peaceful place welcome to a world where people fight successful people from the day you announced that god gave me a job all of a sudden your food is no longer sweet all of a sudden your cloth has a problem all of a sudden your greeting becomes sarcasm that's the side effect of success and so it says thou shall increase my greatness but because with every increase there are battles lord don't leave me alone comfort me on every side don't just increase my greatness and leave me because there are certain levels of battles that can come to your life you will wish you never rose are we together have you seen people challenge you to a point that you say lord i i, I admire my yesterday i i didn't have money but i was peaceful i didn't have influence woe betide a man who rises without the help of god to sustain him there you will hate success hallelujah thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side comfort me on every side and so it is god's desire from the time that i i taught the lifter of men the the kinds of testimonies that have come already from that series not just within the local environment of the ministry here people whose lives have changed overnight and you know i taught us here that the anointing of the spirit is where his word is are we together not just his general word but his emphasis for a season are we together so if god is speaking as a healing god his anointing that will be present is the anointing to heal if god is speaking as a lifting god 
the anointing the anointing of the holy spirit will always be found where his word is if it looks like in a particular season you are not anointed or no longer as anointed as you want it may not be that you have backslidden it may have been that you have you have not found where the word is for the season because the word for the season is where the anointing for the season is that you were anointed yesterday does not mean that your anointing of yesterday will be relevant for today's challenge are we together God is in the business of lifting men. And he's lifting us not just because um, we need to tell the world we are successful. That's too small a reason to be lifted. I told you that kingdom advance can only be possible under two conditions. Number one, evangelism. Number two, influence. Influence is important to enthrone Christ within a sphere of human existence. And so if we do not contend for influence if the only thing that happens to us is evangelism winning souls which is important and valuable then the church will not have a voice enough to institutionalize christ and his value system within society are we together it matters that the church not only has the word but have the voice to declare that word we must contend for the requisite level of influence that will make our words matter not only to fellow believers but to to every strata of human society business government media etc are you following me now so the subject of greatness is something that i want you to covet passionately we come from different backgrounds even christian backgrounds and some of us though well-meaning but have been erroneously indoctrinated into believing that any desire to want to rise to a position that is higher than than that which mediocrity affords is carnality and you shouldn't be interested in that let me tell you in the 21st century if you do not have a voice then there are certain things you cannot do for the kingdom are we together when it was time to bring a dream that will save the nation god searched around to look for who was from him and there was no believer who had the influence to do something about that dream so god had to make do with pharaoh god went to pharaoh and gave him the dream about the redemption of egypt and then god's people because pharaoh was the only one who had the requisite influence to do something about it are we together there are certain levels of visions and revelations that you will never see no matter how you fast and pray because you do not have the influence to do anything about it are we together if god shows you something about a family that requires some kind of financial capability to solve their needs if you do not have the financial wherewithal you can only intercede so god will not waste his time bringing you that kind of dream he will find someone who has opened himself to that possibility in the kingdom and grant him access to that revelation because in seeing it he also has the ability to do something about it are we together it will no longer be that the church will buy a plot of land or plots of land and then the government will arise and seize it simply because everyone is in the church is spiritual anointed but with no voice jesus remained on the cross no influence could bring him down but a man called joseph of arimathea the bible called him a noble man he had both the political and financial power he went to caesar and demanded that jesus be brought down where would you keep him caesar said and he said no i have a virgin tomb and they took jesus and buried him there influence played a role in the salvation of our souls are we together now it matters that we rise to positions of kingdom influence thou shall increase give us that scripture please thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about why for the sake of your kingdom 
why for the sake of your glory for the sake of the advancement of your purposes thou shall increase my finances and comfort me round about thou shall increase the anointing upon my life and comfort me round about thou shall increase my sphere of influence thou shall increase my strategic alliances thou shall increase my voice thou shall increase the capacity my mind everything that needs to be increased should be increased in this season are we blessed and comfort me roundabout there are people here you are here seated many of the prayer requests that you are going to be submitting requires influence for it to be answered it doesn't just require God a man can answer that prayer are we together influence all you need is for someone to talk to someone to advocate for someone on your behalf and that whole prayer point that is giving you headache is solved in a moment it's amazing how influence can represent christ in a moment in a twinkling of an eye a challenge that has held a family a nation a territory just within a moment greatness is powerful you will never be able to legislate on behalf of the kingdom if you do not contend for certain dimensions of greatness and influence hallelujah this is a very powerful scripture that should be your prayer request in this season there are pastors who are anointed they love god they have revelation but they have rejected kingdom influence and it has pegged them down peg their ministries peg everything about them let me tell you something about followership nobody wants to follow a man who is not growing nobody wants to follow a man who is not rising are we together now yes for as long as we continue to celebrate mediocrity for as long as we continue to allow ourselves to be um the bible says they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise for as long as we remain at the lowest levels in life let me tell you this we may keep feeling spiritual but there is very little god will be able to do with us it's true when you increase in greatness you give god space to find expression in and through you in this season god is passionately finding men who will embody influence with a heart for him so that he will be able to win people winning people one by one will not get the job done we need to win territories through influence are we together now yes islam is one of the fastest growing religion in europe and you will never see any city-wide crusade you will never see any venue being rented for any conference they are using one key everybody say influence because when a man is hungry you don't give him a bible when a man is hungry you put the gospel on a plate of a loaf of bread and give it to him that's the only way he can eat that he can receive it are we together you've heard me say it again and again by the grace of god i will never pastor a people who are spiritual but not influential both can go hand in hand now every time you are doing things that are new or out of the box you will be misunderstood because society is full of status quo and most of those those systems are largely founded upon mediocrity the average believer does not understand how the kingdom should be advanced they know how you should grow they know how you should rise they know how your spirit man should be strong but they don't know how the purposes of God should be institutionalized within a territory the subject of kingdom advance is seldom understood by many people very few people I tell you this with 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 no sense of, of um, criticism or whatever but even among us men of God there are very few people who understand kingdom advance we understand spiritual growth we understand the issues that concern our growth and character and so on and so forth but the issues that have to institutionalize christ so that 30 years after now our children will still be rooted in the things of god we hardly have that understanding 
and living in the 21st century has shifted things we must learn how to shift we must learn how to be strategic in our approach hallelujah the message remains the same but the communication must be strategic enough to be able to represent christ are we blessed thou shall increase my greatness before i continue i just feel we should pray this prayer in one minute i don't know what area listen greatness is a summation of excellence in many facets of your life some of us may be doing well in one area may be doing well in another area find the area where you know you cannot say you are experiencing greatness in and in one minute cry to god and say lord visit me in this area go ahead pray with all your heart lord you have granted me access to revelations i thank you stepping over my finances lord you have helped me in the area of my finances but my spiritual life is crushing to pieces grant me grace you have granted me access to revelations but my mind my mind is barren i need a miracle in my mind increase my capacity understanding make sure you are praying this is the miracle service many of the challenges that we have in our lives are dependent on these things whether you are standing whether you are at the window whether you are everywhere following online just go ahead and connect don't allow the little inconveniences to distract you it's a very serious prayer everyone that asketh receiveth lord increase my greatness increase my greatness comfort me increase my greatness for the sake of my family members increase my greatness for the sake of the gospel increase my greatness for the sake of the ministry the church you have committed increase my greatness for the sake of the lost souls millions billions of them increase my greatness for the sake of having your purposes preserved within a territory hallelujah praise the lord are we blessed let me just talk about one key there are many but for tonight just to add to what i've shared just one key that can help us grow in greatness greatness is a system remember that the kingdom of god operates on mysteries and systems say after me mysteries say after me systems the kingdom of god is systemic god never does the same thing twice when he does a thing once he creates a system around it for continuity are we together he never created the plants and the animals twice he did it once and put a seed in it for reproduction he made one man one woman never to make another one again are we together there is a system so if your life is to excel it must be built on systems if your life is built on miracles as much as you are going to receive them miracles are a sign that something went wrong and the sovereignty of god is intervening to correct we were never designed to live off miracles listen very carefully if you live off miracles you will live a frustrated life we live off principles we live off the systems of the kingdom the systems of god create predictability they are an attestation to his justice the bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne never mistake a miracle to mean that's how god wants it to continue a miracle is a stepping in of god to correct something that shouldn't be you are working properly when your life is systemic are we together first corinthians chapter 4 please give us verse 1 and verse 2 let's talk about just one key here faithfulness see after me faithfulness second corinthians chapter 4 it says let a man so account of us as of the ministers of christ paul is speaking now and stewards paul uses a very interesting language not not owners he calls them stewards the word steward is the word caretaker caretakers of the mysteries of god number two he says moreover it is required in stewards 
if it is true that you are a steward there is a requirement and it says moreover it is required in stewards that a man whoever says he is a steward must exhibit a character called faithfulness faithfulness he says must be found faithful there are many people who may never rise beyond their current levels of influence their current financial level their levels of the anointing of revelation because they have other things but they lack this quality faithfulness in the kingdom you grow it looks simple but write it in the kingdom you grow and jesus grew in wisdom jesus grew in stature jesus grew in favor with god and with men we live in a time where we admire people's results every time we see uncommon results whether in the area of the anointing the demonstration of the spirit revelations influence etc every time we see that people are stepping into unusual levels of grace we don't admire the process we rather admire the results hallelujah i see people come to me and i know they are well-meaning and they just kneel down and say sir double portion of your anointing and i said look at what this guy is asking are we together it looks like a very that's why some of you came here probably to get a double portion the mother of james and john came to jesus and said jesus i have a request on behalf of my two sons you've been seeing them you've, you've you see how faithful they have been in your ministry would you grant because the way you are going you are going to overthrow caesar would you grant that when all is said and done let my kids sit at your left and right and jesus looked at her he never said it's an impossible request he said can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism two things one works internally the other one works externally but both must happen to qualify you the seat is vacant but can you drink this one is not a gift it's a reward are we together now one of the requirements is faithfulness there are pastors who will never rise beyond certain membership barrier because they are not faithful god gives you three members you look at them and feel they are not relevant at all are we together oh these members are not serious you are three all of you are broke none of you is smart none of you is working i'm the one who pays your transport what kind of useless membership is this and god is watching and then you admire another church with choice uh what do we call it choice membership this one is working in oil company i said this, these are the kind of members and we we have the effrontery to go back to the secret place and cry that god will find a way of drawing those people from that church to bring it to our church and god says look at this the kind of believers that are being produced within this region no understanding it is required in stewards in men of god in business people in young people in students in whatever dimension of life that you be faithful listen very carefully be faithful be faithful never follow a man who does not have a track record of growth you are only wasting your time no matter how flamboyant the results are it's a mirage anybody who stumbles into financial prosperity is joking is joking i repeat is joking anybody who just stumbles into the anointing is still joking anybody who stumbles into revelation is joking there must be a track record in life your track record is what gives value to your current stature faithfulness here's what jesus has to say about this luke chapter 16 please give us verse 10 to 12 jesus is teaching here luke chapter 16 10 to 12 he says he that is faithful listen now jesus is teaching here it was the the parable of of the unjust servant whose master was about to banish him and he went to reduce the bills for several people so that when he was banished 
he would now rush to them and jesus is using the opportunity to teach us something here that he that is faithful in that which is least is what he didn't say will be is already i can know whether you qualify for your next level in life by what you are doing with the current level is faithful also in much and he that is unjust please go back to verse 10 he that is unjust in the least is also unjust in much next verse 11 if therefore ye have not been faithful he's speaking in the context of resources now in unrighteous mammon your naira and kobo he says who will commit to you the true riches you know what the true riches are things that money cannot buy but can buy money true riches money itself is a commodity there is something that buys it true riches are you getting what i'm saying now in our world today if you have money you can buy everything but god is saying that money itself like you sell phones money is a product too there is something that can buy it it's called true riches so when god tests you let me tell you what this is saying let me use um let me bring out a thousand naira look at this this is one thousand naira do you know god can arrange favor come pastor femi i can see him already warming up to be a very can i mean look at the see how sharp he's looking praise the lord now watch this do you know that in your walk with god a time can come god can just open a door for you hundred thousand comes you are not rich this is unrighteous mammon he's testing you you are rich when he gives you what can buy this you are not rich if you have this this, this is nonsense anything can happen set this on fire you can't pack the ashes to court and say this was one thousand true riches is what can buy this product not shoe buy this this one so he's watching you and he gives you this and you are not faithful in it you misuse it you waste it the kingdom does not benefit from it he says no there is an anointing i can give you that will bring this you have not qualified i tested you with this and you failed are we together god can bring a relationship come god can bring a relationship to your life that you know you didn't even qualify for it is a test you misuse that relationship you take advantage of the people and you don't even max you don't value them and then all of a sudden you cannot be given the true riches that can buy greater relationships faithfulness is a powerful spiritual quality powerful spiritual quality many people are not faithful that's why they pray they fast oh god dry fast seven days 40 days lord give me more anointing give me this give me that and then one day god leads you to one old woman and god says take care of this woman your destiny is to walk in the healing ministry but he won't start by giving you the healing anointing he will start by creating compassion in you take care of this old woman and say oh god this old woman how much will i get from this woman i need something that i will shine so that from that shining to be on youtube and then it will be on all the social media platforms and up i go and god says you see that there's no faithfulness and while that is happening god is watching one young lady somewhere taking care of the woman mama are you okay and she's she's writing her promotion exams through faithfulness she may not know but she's walking herself to a realm of the anointing one day she'll finish taking care of that woman and say father thank you for the privilege my mother was never alive for me to be able to take care of her but thank you for giving me such an old woman and the heavens are open over that young lady a strange anointing comes upon her two years later that lady is walking in a dimension of the healing anointing that nobody can explain and people criticize where did this girl come from from nowhere i've told you there's nobody that comes out from nowhere that you are not aware of the training does not mean they were not trained 
there is nobody that comes out of nowhere it's a lie when you are in the cave of adulam it's a lonely place when you manifest people say aha this person is lucky no there's no luck in this thing is god speaking to us many of us god trusted us with finances we were not faithful many of us today if i tell you lift your prayer request now you will see prayer point one breakthrough prayer point two financial rest prayer point three financial favor it's still the same thing you are writing just different versions so that however god wants to answer it he should just answer it are we together lord increase in membership did you know while i was praying i was already set to come the rain started all i was doing i i found tears coming out of my eyes because i was thinking i said my god my god this these people now how 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 do we manage these people but many of you ah, they've come let them come you know you are the superstar when you think like that you will never rise don't forget that men may not know why you are looking at this but there is a god who has the all-seeing eye that looks at you and knows that this man of god should not rise are we together many of us want resources as i've lifted this one thousand now many of you have been looking at it you are not even hearing me again listen you are not faithful if you are faithful is proof that you are a steward can god give you this and say let me have it back and you say lord it's yours it's proof of faithfulness lord after all it came from you i i you took me from nowhere soaking gary if you have given me this if you make a demand it goes there are many of you once your hands hold it it's only a need a secular need that will release it the voice of god has no right to make you release this and then you want lots of it and we keep joking that we are having dreams and seeing god is not stupid this system is very orderly once your heart is not with god you won't find anything are we together i've shared this story here once upon a time in this area then nobody knew me nobody i was invited to go and minister somewhere and just like it rained very heavily tonight i had prepared fasted prepared to go there and then the rain started and the people were expecting me and that time there was no protocol to come put umbrella etc all of these formalities that was how i i rolled my sleeves rolled my trouser and held my bible i started praying in tongues in the rain lord don't mind me being soaked just bless your people if your people are blessed i am satisfied are we together now i remember going there and then to make matters worse the church didn't even make arrangement for umbrella to receive me it was then steve strings who saw me from outside and collected he was also invited he collected an umbrella to run go and receive me outside when i came in they asked me to wait they had to shift some people in front to create space for me to come and sit down it looked painful it looked ego stinging but it was a test of faithfulness can you be faithful even when your reputation is being insulted not everybody will insult your reputation keep forbearing with those who don't value you then you will qualify for those who can value you there are some of you today you will go to minister somewhere they will disrespect you some of you are intelligent business people surrounded by those who have no value keep at what you are doing you will come to a point where god will bring you to people who can recognize the grace you carry and my goodness happy are you when you enter that season in your life where you are surrounded by those who have a recognition of what you carry and will be willing to bless my life was not always like this this ministry was not always like this the first crusade you see crowds everywhere and we're happy many of you who follow me on facebook or follow follow the ministry uh, on facebook and follow what we are doing and you know all the crowds and the things that happen when every time i travel 
many people just see it and think it's just because he's anointed it's not just because i'm anointed with all humility what you are seeing is a product of many years of faithfulness i've shared with you our first crusade it never you see the secrets of men are in their stories don't just hear the story discern the message are we together i told you about our first crusade i think we're about 20 or so the entire crusade ground i'm not sure we're up to 50 the first crusade we prayed fasted organized when it was time to pray for the sick the whole team had the opportunity one-on-one -on -one. it was a test of faithfulness many of us do not want to start small as a student you want to wear the same cloth with a bank manager and so you open your gate wide for a devourer to come and rubbish your life and keep punishing you are we together there are men of god who start in ministry everybody they see is their colleague take it easy move gradually no i'm anointed if not because of condition don't i have a better revelation than kenny and god keeps you there say stay there i just caught a new revelation there's nobody to hear you because there is no track record you can look at a pastor who doesn't seem to have any serious revelation and wonder why god keeps him there faithfulness all he may say is god bless you god lift you god anoint you and then you are there in your pride and arrogance i just finished pieces in the book of ephesians and you remain there for many years is god speaking to us never be ashamed of the track record of faithfulness lord this is the level of grace that you have given me i am happy i am proud of it lord you have given me the anointing to clean chairs i know that you have called me to be an apostle to the nations but in this season my assignment is to clean chairs i receive the grace to do it faithfully not just to clean chairs and say kai oh god if not just people me cleaning chairs and god says that's it you see that and you'll never rise everybody say faithfulness say it again faithfulness matthew chapter 25 we're going to read three verses 21 23 and 29 thank you matthew 25 we're reading 21 23 and we're reading 29 i just want to show you something and then we'll begin to pray this was the parable of the talents five two and one talent and this to the one who had five his lord said unto him after being faithful he said well done good and what faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things let me show you how greatness happens in the kingdom thou hast been faithful over a few things what's your reward i will make thee ruler over many things when you are promoted in the kingdom many things happen to you one the anointing upon your life is multiplied number two your operation becomes easy number three god expands your self-influence to cause more people to hear your voice is a product of faithfulness you have been faithful over a few things i gave you a teaching anointing and i did not give you an anointing for miracles and you were not ashamed to teach the people as best as you knew to every time they ask you man of god why is it that we don't see miracles in your life be patient i'm coming i'm not ashamed to say god is bringing me there for now is the teaching grace he has given me i will teach i will make bible study notes and god is saying this is a man who will not only be a good shepherd he will be a good manager of my anointing and one day that man comes to a meeting and all of a sudden an impartation comes upon him the dimension that has been absent is now supplied by the spirit he goes back not just as a teacher but as a worker of miracles 23 to the man with the two talents he said his lord said unto him well done good and faithful servant same thing thou hast been faithful over a few things so it's not the size of what you were giving the same commendation i will make thee ruler over many things let's go to 29 29 for unto everyone that hath this is a mystery in the kingdom that when you have is a sign that you were a good manager and the reward is that he shall have what 
abundance of anything abundance here doesn't just talk of finance abundance of the anointing abundance of influence abundance of access to revelations and then it says but from him that hath, and is not faithful now he says even that which he had shall be taken away it is not only satan that takes things away god too takes things away are we together now not every reduction is caused by demons there are reductions that are a testimony it's a report card from god to you that something is wrong with your stewardship when god increases you members rise today and mysteriously members just go down sometimes it could be that it's a message from god that i trusted you with 30 people and i observed your stewardship your stewardship does not merit multiplication you rise in finances and then sometimes you just go down never to rise again it could be a message that you need to upgrade on your stewardship you rise in influence and all of a sudden you find out within a season all your helpers are no longer there all the people whose voice who who listen to your voice and acknowledge your voice are no longer there it could be a sign that you are abusing the privilege of stewardship are we together the prayer that you need to pray in this season is for God to help you that whilst you are waiting for a supply of greater dimensions of his grace but that he grants you the fortitude to be faithful if God gives you 10 naira be faithful if God gives you one shoe polish it don't sit down running your eyes on every shoe and say don't worry except God is not my God I'm coming and and that shoe will say you are not coming this is not how to get me you get me by washing the one you have is a rubber shoe wash it is a 200 naira trouser wash it are we together now we live in a society that applauds people for living a fake life that claps for people for jumping seasons and as soon as they clap for you and as frequent as they clap for you that's the same way they will clap against you because every time you jump up you must go down but when you grow up you remain up the difference between jumping and growing is that you are still connected to your root when you jump you are suspended nothing backs you no support so you must come down when you grow up the tallest building in the world is still connected to the earth that's why it stands nothing suspended has an a, a, the ability to stay indefinitely when they send satellites to orbit the earth and orbit other planets and all of that after a time requirement because they are not connected to the earth they must be sent back planes don't fly indefinitely in the sky they get to a point where they must make contact with the earth again for some of you here this is your miracle service tonight the Lord is speaking to you you are living a fake life go back to the basics let me tell you this don't ever generalize success just because everybody around you is successful does not mean you are successful go back and learn the principles corporate success is deception are you hearing what I'm saying now we are all successful a day will come life will separate you and you stand as an individual and it will be a test of your values whether or not it's like a defense the way students do defense you will need to defend and validate your success any door god has not opened for me i'm not under pressure to go because when he opens it he will open it in honor do you know if god does not open a door your tenacity can force that door to open that you forced a door and it opened a man can go around with complimentary cards i'm a man of god i'm a gospel artist in fact you've not had anything like you just invite me and watch what happens 
you can go around and out of the 1000 invitations you beg for you may get one or two or three or four and you call it increase you see when you open the door by yourself you have to keep it open by yourself but when god opens it god when he opens it he keeps it by his own hand the hands that lifted me will uphold me to the end i will not be afraid there is a hand that lifted me will uphold me to the end i will not be hallelujah years ago i had a conversation we're about to pray with a gentleman and he asked me a very honest question he said apostle i've come for koinonia and i've seen the crowds of people and he asked a question he said can you reproduce these results and i said that's not me to answer you are asking time not me keep watching and i think two weeks ago he sent me a text you know just joking I'm, I'm just saying it and he's just sent a text and he said apostle you are dangerous i say i'm not dangerous the laws of god are dangerous it is not me it is the laws of god whoever will keep these truths it will work for you are you getting what i'm saying even if you are afraid of yourself trust his laws and watch them shock you and make a wonder out of your life brothers and sisters listen to me in a few minutes now we're going to begin to pray and many of you will stand and watch your life change as if it's magic it is not just because a man who is anointed is standing before you there is a system in the kingdom we make our boast first in the lord and then in the power of his might his might the power of his might the power that is released when his laws operate those who don't understand will look at these things and think he's boasting it's not boasting it's true the predictability of god's principles hallelujah i challenge you today that much more than the miracles you are receiving you must trust god to go back and say lord teach me your ways we reign in this kingdom we're about to pray now i want to show you a very dangerous scripture that god opened my eyes to brothers and sisters if god does not open your eyes to see how a thing works you may never know do you know that in every challenge that you have right now a way of escape is there but it takes god to open your eyes psalm 77 turn there let me show you something psalm 77 and verse 19 psalm 77 verse 19 give us from amplified if it's possible lion of judah my trust is in you alpha and omega my trust is in you i am that i am my trust is in you tonight i put them on you my trust is in you it says your way in delivering your people was through the sea listen carefully the same sea that was an obstacle it said their way of escape was inside that water inside that trouble it says and your paths through the great waters how can you be in trouble and god says in that trouble that's where your answer is but it takes your eyes to see it god hides a formula in your pain and keeps it there until revelation opens you to it it says your way of delivering your people was through the sea the same sea he said that your path through the water yet you pass through it and cover it and nobody can trace your footsteps this one give us king james again it will take revelation for you to know how can i look at a water challenges and great waters he said thy way is in the sea 
in that rent challenge is a formula that can make you a landlord but it will take the spirit of revelation in that sickness that brought you to koinonia is hidden a mystery that can bring you into the healing anointing it says thy way is in the sea and thy path in the great waters and thy footsteps are not known god what kind of god are you you do something and cover it so no man can just look and say ah I... but when he opens your eyes all of a sudden you will discover that so the water can part i never knew and all of a sudden there will be dry ground and you walk to it and the egyptians will think and god will cover it and say i don't open it for everybody it is a way but not for everybody are we together these are some of the deep mysteries about the anointing sometimes you see me give you instructions that don't make sense shout jesus keep quiet it does you will try it and it won't work it's a mystery there is a way in it there is a pathway that when god opens your eyes to the systems of the kingdom then you can see things that don't make sense and make wonders out of them god is speaking to someone here that the prayer you are praying the answer is already within your environment all it takes is for your eyes to see Hagar was punished by Sarah. The Bible says she was in the wilderness dying of test. The young lad cried to heaven. When an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw an oasis bringing water. The water was there but her eyes could not see. The ways of God. And let me tell you, this is why we come to, how, to the house of God. Because there is something about the corporate gathering of God. Give us verse 13 of the same scripture. Give us verse 13 of the same scripture. Go ahead and read. Thy ways, O God, where is it? Is found in your sanctuary. When we come here, it says in your sanctuary, in your house, you have, you have ordained a place that when we meet, you will show us a way. When God put this miracle service and called this ministry and put all of these things, it's not just a ritual. There is a mystery about the sanctuary he has ordained. That every time you come before God, he must open a way. So don't carry your challenges and come and you are wondering and say, I went to every church. I don't know what the church you went to believe. But in this sanctuary, there is a way there is a way i dare to tell you there is a way man of god i have been in i've gone everywhere with all due respect i don't know where you went to but there is a way in the sanctuary solomon dedicated a place and said lord let me tie a covenant to this sanctuary if any man prays and turns this direction not for the sake of their faith for the covenant in this place answer them when they were about to kill daniel in the days of that of, of nebuchadnezzar daniel opened the gate and faced jerusalem he, he was afraid he couldn't depend on his faith he opened the door and said lord i engage the covenant that covenant that solomon made with the temple in jerusalem it is not only a man that can bring miracles a place can be anointed to birth miracles it was in a place that jacob went to sleep he never met a man but he met a place and that night the heavens were open and he saw a ladder that connected the heavens he said this is the house of god this is the gates of heaven tonight i want to stir up faith many of you have come you have made sacrifices pastor femi thank you thank you so so much praise the lord many of you have come from several places you have made sacrifices please don't come here wasting your time and don't come here wondering let's see what god will do already i can answer you you won't get anything already let me let me be honest with you because god is not a magician but there are people that come here determined and say lord i have seen you in this place i can't go back this way that something must shift in my life something must change in my life not all of you may be trusting god for sickness for healing you know but many of us are trusting god for one thing or the other i'd like you to believe 
there is a way in the sea i bring you a word there is a way this kingdom operates by mysteries the bible says there is no temptation given but that which is common to man you are not the first to have house rent issue you are not the first to have financial issues listen carefully you are not the first to have academic issues you are not the first to have excuse me spiritual issues you are not the first but though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. That's a part of this song I like. Though we are few, there are witnesses. There are people who have been healed. There are people who God changed their lives overnight. There may not be many, but they are on earth. Testifiers of his faithfulness. As a testament that if God did it before, he can do it again. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Oh, is the Lord. Oh, is the Lord. Listen. It is our confidence in God and our confidence in his ways that gives us the audacity to gather people and say come he will change you without the presence of god and access to the ways of god we are we are scammers we are not we are not just liars we are scammers why do you gather people and tell them come we dare you to come we call a solemn assembly not only because we know god by the privilege of his grace we have found grace with him and he has made us stewards of the mysteries ephesians chapter 3 this will be the last scripture ephesians chapter 3 verse 2 from verse 2 it says if ye have heard paul is speaking of the dispensation of grace of the grace of god which is given me to you word for your sake how that by revelation verse 3 he made known unto me how did paul know it by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as i wrote afore in few words verse 4 whereby when you read another word is whereby when you experience it you may know the basis he may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ verse 5 a mystery that has been hidden in other ages let me tell you some of the things we are doing although they are spiritual although they are biblical they are mysteries that have been hidden they are there the same way many people swam through the red sea although there was a way it took a generation of men to be open to that mystery there are many mysteries that control results that have not been routed by many but the bible says that in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets how by the spirit by the spirit it was a revelation that god gave me that people write their requests and come and drop here it's not something that i copied from anywhere it's a revelation stupid though but look at the testimonies that have come out from it are we blessed now god's servant bishop david oyedeko was given the revelation of feet worship a revelation that had not been known to anybody people read it and all of a sudden the testimonies that come out of it people had communion people take communion in orthodox churches and different churches and just take it even while they are drunk but somebody came with a light about communion and all of a sudden people take communion now and cancers just die there are mysteries brothers and sisters there are many people that never knew that the house of god is powerful praise the lord are we together so you must understand that god in this season wants to shift you but he won't just shift you just by saying shift there are mysteries tonight i bring you a word 
there is a way in the sea hallelujah there is a way there is a way there is something god can do about your finances there's something god can do about your family situation you left fire on the mountain and came back you wait until the red sea parts and god will rubbish pharaoh tonight in your presence rise up on your feet begin to thank the lord for what you have heard tonight Cry for the grace to be faithful. Go ahead. Cry for the grace to be faithful. Cry for the grace to be faithful. Lord, grant me the grace to be faithful. Grant me the grace to stay as you lift me. Grant me the grace not to rush seasons in my life grant me the grace grant me the grace hallelujah just pray one prayer lord change my story visit me tonight lift your voice and pray pray with faith change my story visit me visit me tonight hallelujah tonight is an unusual service because time has gone we're going to be very very fast very very fast at that um, like I told us we're going to start praying for the sick we'll start by praying for the sick and um, now this is how we're going to do it because of because of those of you outside don't worry you don't worry wherever you are you will be attended to are we together you will be attended to so hold on before i ask the people to come you don't have to just cooperate with the ushers if they need you to do anything just just it's a temporary inconvenience we're doing this just to be able to manage time and to do all that we have to do hallelujah praise the lord now please hold on let's let's not be distracted those of us who are trusting God for healing is a miracle service. It's not just limited to healing, but we're going to pray for the sick now. Now, we're going to do this very fast. And um, please, those that will be ministering, let's, let's do it very fast. It's not in how long... Listen, let me tell you something about the anointing. It's not just in how long you are touched or the frequency. Just a touch is enough for the anointing. The same way a small drug can step into your body and that's it the wonders are done i'd like you to believe god to touch you change your life whether it's a blood disease whatever it is let's agree with you hallelujah we'll do that very very fast while we are doing that please um if you have come with your requests ushers um please help them pr department you can join them protocol let's just join and see how we can make this very fast so that at the same time we are collecting the prayer requests remember it's not a ritual um, when it's time when they come to you you can hand over the request if you are yet to write yours you can quickly do that those online following us from whatever nation you can just connect your requests are already there and we're praying the power of God will touch it there too hallelujah praise the Lord please I like you to be very intentional I know that most times we do this at the miracle services but be careful lest you make a ritual out of this and then at the same time waste your time i have seen the power and the glory of god um, upon my life and upon this ministry in in ways that that are humbling in ways that are powerful expect a testimony please refuse that you're not going back the way you came no matter what the medical situation is 
remember i told you there is a way in the sea there is a way hallelujah when i do that um we'll finish it and then we can now minister deliverance and just prophesy so that we are able to make time praise the lord father we are gathered tonight by your wisdom and your power lord we're about to minister to those who are sick and lord we trust your power to heal we trust your power to heal to the uttermost in the name of jesus anoint my hands anoint every man and woman of god who will be ministering to the sick let there be the hearing of faith let there be the walking of miracles do this and glorify yourself in the name of jesus christ praise the lord uh, father we give you all the praise let your power flow let miracles begin in this place we give you all the praise we give you all the honor in the name of jesus christ i pray amen please make sure that while you submit your prayer request be in the attitude of prayer if i were you i'll be praying in the spirit don't be distracted just because we are taking our time to pray for the sea god bless you deserve the glory and the honor so we lift our hearts and worship as we bless your holy name yes you deserve the glory yeah the honor yes lord we lift our hands and worship as we praise your holy name for you are great you do miracles so great yes there is no one else like There is no one else like you Yes, you are great And you do miracles so great Oh, there is no one else like you Oh, there is no one else like you Saying you deserve the glory, say you deserve the glory and the honor, Lord, and the honor. So we lift our hands, so we lift our hands and words as we praise. As we praise oh, 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 yes, you deserve the glory. we worship tonight so we lift our hands and worship as we pray your holy name give you your the You are great. 
and say after me in the name of Jesus. We are praying now, please. We are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every force from the pit of hell standing against my lifting tonight I challenge you lift your voice and begin to pray everyone lift your voice and begin to pray every force every force nothing will stop your lifting this is a season of lifting in the name of Jesus Set. Every stumble shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Say in the name of Jesus. Every recurrent pattern in my life right now, I declare you destroyed. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Challenge every recurrent pattern by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Every recurrent pattern in the name of Jesus. Every recurrent pattern. Papo Sabalaka to Pashabren Legadea. In the name of Jesus. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace apportioned for me tonight. I declare that I must step into it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension. Make sure you are praying every dimension, every dimension, every dimension. Say in the name of Jesus, Father, let your fire fall upon my life upon my family and destroy every planting that is not of God lift your voice and pray let your fire the visitation of your fire the visitation of your fire upon my life upon my life pray let your fire fall upon my life let your fire bring a separation lift your hands I'm about to pray for you now we are never doing the same thing every time I rebuke devils there are lives and destinies 
that are under the yokes of darkness it's time for the devil to give up are we together are you ready to shout that name that is above all names let me tell you i want you to be childlike tonight and just follow these instructions and watch the wonder working power of god in your life at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus everywhere and as you shout that name the sword of the lord will pierce through every root of every challenge and begin to command victory for you are we together now especially for those of you who are coming here for the first time i'm ministering deliverance now every yoke of darkness that has tied anyone's life as you shout this name may the visitation of that fire are you ready now one two three I command the fire, the fire of the Spirit. Bring them up, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, every altar and everything, every high thing that is not of God, I curse you now. I curse you now. I curse you now. hallelujah i think the ground is good enough you can bring them in the name of jesus i'm praying now i'm still praying anyone's destiny that is under siege right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus i'm seeing i'm seeing like bolts of fire falling on people if it falls on you your destiny is opening up lord where are they i stretch my hands may the visitation of fire Open destinies now. Shake it to kata Open destinies now. Open destinies now. Inside, outside. Open destinies now. Open destinies now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a horn and I'm seeing fire burning it. Please be sensitive. This is a symbol of authorities that sit over lives and families. He said in Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18, What seest thou? He said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, so that no man does lift his head. He said, But I have sent four carpenters. Lift your heads. I'm praying right now. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God is falling on people inside and outside. In the name of Jesus, anyone here, Shabo Sekatos Kabariakata under any kind of demonic siege at the count of three that horn that symbol of authority that has tied your family that has tied your life it is uprooted one two three i release that fire now i release that fire now i release that fire now by the anointing of the holy ghost I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost anyone here whose life is under siege be delivered now hallelujah the Lord wants to visit the issue of barrenness but then he's using physical barrenness as a prophetic symbol for productivity so that you are not surprised if you are a man and the anointing still visits you the womb is the place where seed is planted that womb can be anything a woman's womb is just a type and a shadow of a system of increase there are people a barren woman is a woman whose womb cannot receive and multiply seed the way it is physically that's how it is spiritually you receive the word but it never produces it's barrenness you receive finances but it never multiplies it's barrenness lift your hands as i pray listen many people many people are going to be delivered from just this prayer you will be surprised to know that many of your requests are tied to this one prayer lift your hands i'm praying now that in the name of jesus ah, i tell you all i see is just fire that's what i'm seeing every spirit responsible for barrenness in anyone's life right now 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost I declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost overflow one I'm seeing three people I'm praying now I know because of time we can't let you come in but I'm seeing three people two are ladies one is a gentleman this prayer is for you there is an anointing as I'm speaking that is coming overflow one on people outside the Lord is bringing massive deliverance barrenness is a dangerous thing listen whatever you give a barren person is as well as wasting your time because it cannot grow it cannot multiply Jesus saw the fig tree it was taken from the earth taken from the earth but it was not producing in the name of Jesus I'm still praying that prayer again that any life here that Satan has rendered barren I stand by the anointing of the Holy Ghost and I decree and declare be delivered right now be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness be delivered right now be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness hallelujah Kemi, who is Kemi? Kemi. Um, I may not, maybe I may just talk to one or two people. Kemi, you are wearing red. It's like, it's a guy called Kemi. Who is that? You are wearing red. What's your name? Uh -uh, I didn't, I'm saying, this is, I'm saying, I know that Kemi is a lady's name. It's not a guy. I will pray for you. It's your hunger. This is, you are wearing red. What's your name? Your name is Kemi. Yes, sir. You are wearing red. I'll pray for you. But gentlemen, you are here. There is a hunger that you carry. Listen, you came from ah, uh, I'm seeing Cross River. Cross River. Cross River. Cross River. Cross River. Yes, you sir. came. Yes, sir. The Lord is saying, I should tell you. Listen to me. Yes, sir. You came because of a hunger. Yes, sir. You truly get an anointing. Yes, sir. But you see, this message I preach was for you. Yes, sir. You heard what I'm saying? Yes, this running around to want to do ministry by force is not the way it works. The Lord Himself, He will give you an anointing, but He will give you direction. What you need is an encounter with the word and direction, but you will never go back the same. Receive that anointing a new dimension a new season my dear there is a spirit of prophecy upon your life in the name of jesus christ i stir up that spirit that dimension i open you to a realm where you begin to see and hear the sounds of the spirit in the name of jesus as i'm praying this i'm seeing number 11 the same thing that came on this lady the anointing of the spirit is looking for 11 people there is the spirit of prophecy. Where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Eleven people. Eleven people scattered inside and outside. In the name that is above all names. Receive that spirit. You need it. I stir it up from your spirit man. I stir it up from your spirit man. The grace for prophecy. Makatos Kabarakata. Sons and daughters. Stepping into dimensions of prophecy some of you you have only had dreams only dreams but i shift you to dimensions of visions prophetic visions you will never be the same i'm still praying this i'm still praying this there are people this is your call but no anointing has ever stirred it in the name of jesus i shift you in the spirit into that anointing the very anointing the seat of the prophetic i move you by grace in the name of jesus christ i activate it i activate it that dimension i'm praying i don't know why god is moving this way there are people the call of god is upon your life but you don't know it you don't know that the call of god is upon your life but tonight as a token the spirit of god is visiting you whether you know it or not lord where are they i stretch my hands now if the hand and the mandate of god is upon your life 
for your destiny in the area of the fivefold i declare let the anointing of the spirit locate you as it locates you the lord begins to prepare you where are they receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace Hallelujah. There is a dangerous spirit. Our time is up. Hold on. But there is a spirit that I want to rebuke now. I just saw written in the air rejection. Hold on. Many of you do not know the reason why good things never reach you. You stand, you are watching, and an opportunity come. Rejection is not just a state, it's a spirit. Lift your hands. Don't pray, don't do anything, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. That's the instruction the Lord is giving me. Just lift your hands, just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus, many of you will be surprised now. There are people, it's like a yoke. I'm seeing like cowries, these cowries that they use. That's what I'm seeing. And in the name of Jesus Christ, as the power of God is smashing that rubbish, that's how many people who have been despised, been despised. The Bible says where you have been forsaken so that no man passes through you. It says you become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. Right now I stretch my hands from the front to the back. Overflow one, two, three the roadside and online if there is anyone here under the siege of the spirit of rejection right now in the name of jesus in this silence may the anointing of the spirit begin to bring deliverance right now i'm praying it's happening right now taking away that spirit from your life please be sensitive we are doing a quick walk rejection 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost rejection i command that spirit to leave i'm still praying i command that spirit to leave i command that spirit to leave alongside with this there are people bad luck good things must always turn to evil when it hold, when it enters your hand no matter what it is if they give you money something must go bad a good opportunity it must be destroyed you enter a relationship something must happen i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is under this kind of siege here at this miracle service fire 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 i release the fire of the spirit right now from the front to the back inside outside I command your deliverance right now. I command your deliverance right now. I command your deliverance right now. Keep your hands lifted and pray. Mighty things are happening in the spirit. I ask us to pray a prayer that the Lord put in my heart. Patterns. I'm still seeing it again. There are some of you, the same thing happens to every member of your family. At certain seasons, everything must happen. Either somebody dies or someone doesn't marry straight and correct. You must have a child before you get married. Or something, someone will rape you. Someone raped your mother. Someone will rape some kind of nonsense patterns. In the name of Jesus. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Lord, I pray that as your people shout that name, every pattern that happened to the fathers that is about to replay itself in the life of your people let it be broken at the count of three one two three i declare those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now hallelujah the spirit of delay god is taking delay from someone's life that's what i'm seeing god is taking delay i'm seeing it going delay 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 not everybody but i'm seeing god is it will surprise you after this miracle service the kind of speed that your life will enter 
destiné. Alléluia. My dear, come. This come. This is your first time here. Where are you coming from? You're coming from Abuja. Yes, I want to pray for you. You had the prayer I just said we should pray. Yes. That prayer was was for you. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? There is a spirit of delay that must live your life. You are a great lady, but I see delay. Come. It's a demonic spirit. And if you are not delivered and you get up and go to Abuja just like that, it will be as if you did not come before the presence of God. But I lay my hands upon your head. And in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of delay, I call you by name. Let this lady go now. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Go now. Live her life forever. In the name of Jesus. That lady wearing lime cloth. You, this one, come quickly, please. Look at me. Salvation has come to your family. The month of June. Look at me. The month of June, I'm prophesying by the Spirit, is the month for your family. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's changing everything. Everything completely by the Spirit of the living God. He's changing everything by the Spirit of the living God. He's changing everything by the Spirit of the living God. I'm hearing a name, Doris. I'm hearing a name Doris. Doris. Who is Doris? I'm hearing a name Doris. Doris. Are you Doris? Your name is Doris. I'm going to pray for you. Your name too is Doris. That's your baby. I will pray for you. Look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus. Yeah? look at me witchcraft I'm stretched the Lord is just saying I should stretch my hands in front of you I stretch my hands and I declare I'm seeing an altar catching fire in the name of Jesus Christ I declare it by the Spirit I stretch my hands that's what the Lord is saying I should do I stretch my hands it catches fire now oh, oh, oh. Say shame and reproach. Shame and reproach is taken from my life. Is taken from my life forever. Forever. Say it again. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. Shame and reproach is taken from your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, shame and reproach is taken. Hold on, I'm not done with that. I decree and declare that shame and reproach is taken from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's father has not been paid for 11 years. I'm seeing, I don't know what the condition is, but I'm seeing at, at 11 years or so your father has not been paid it's something they have been pursuing please make sure you are honest with that come your dad where is he mm -hmm. Lagos. you too where is he do you believe that if I pray for you a miracle will happen let's pray father in the name of Jesus, we make it happen by the Spirit of the Living God. I decree and declare that between now and the next 90 days, let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all coming? Your parents. 
no, don't. I, if, if I pray, most of you is not is not that word. You are just coming just because you want. It may be related in the name of Jesus. I'm I'm just praying for you. As I'm touching you, you see. Let me let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. You see this touch. You see this touch. Just this touch. You see there is power in it. It's just that we are very carnal people. Do you understand? After service, you can hug me and jump on me. But now, what is on me is what makes this touch different. You see that you can you can have. It is not just a touch. Maybe a touch for jamboree. No, 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 no. You can i can lay my hands on you right and then something can come upon you i can lay my hands upon you and then your life will change sometimes you see me just speak and you think it as as i pray like this you see watch your life and see what it becomes are, are you getting what i'm saying now that's 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 the point the word of god that you can't see it does not mean it's not resting on you when it rests on you like a hen over her, her the eggs it will stay there until there is a performance this thing you see is not just power it's authority it's authority there is authority in the spirit it's not just, just sit down and we keep watching I, be, just, the fact that you are here within this vicinity alone let me tell you whether you are inside or outside your life will never never be the same if i never get to touch you speak to you like this the word of god carries the anointing hallelujah now i want to make an altar call gone are the days where people just cajole people you know when people come like this i know many of you have heard of the miracles many of you will experience it god wants us to experience it but let me tell you this I have noticed that most of those who live long are not miracle workers in fact most healing evangelists did not cross 80 yes it's true those who really really enjoyed the grace for longevity are people who are interested in the souls of people hallelujah now nothing wrong with miracles we're going to be experiencing the hand of god shortly but it came strong upon i've been concerned about the fact that there are people who are really going to hell it's not a lie it's true whether you believe it or not it's not the issue i can argue that there's no oxygen in the air it does not stop it there are some of you looking at me right now the overflow the truth of the matter is that at your current state without missing words it is true that it is not heaven you are going to the goal is not to scare you this is not the issue of scaring is is the truth there's nothing to scare you about it is true and books were opened and another book was opened which was the book of life listen carefully whosoever's name it's on earth yet that we celebrate people apostle joshua selman whosoever's name was not found he was not asked why his name was not there if your name was not there that's the end of it are we together listen look this is a very serious serious issue there has to come a time in a man's life when you break your pride and say jesus i need you i don't care whether you have been a preacher for donkey years i'm not asking you how many sick bodies you healed i'm not asking you what name your members call you are we together there are people outside overflow one two three the truth is there are people who need jesus christ and a day is going to come whether we like it or not that day the very judge of the earth is coming it's coming if he said it in his word then it is true mm -hmm. come out and be serious with god be serious with god it's amazing how people come out for altar call they come out for altar call and you see them playing around and you know they are not serious i'm not saying you must cry but there is an attitude of seriousness you don't play games with god are we together i want you to run to 
Jesus like there's fire on the mountain because there really is one two apostle I'm ready to break my pride and humble myself it's not a call to condemnation let me tell you brothers and sisters make your way I've cried for my own life my own life as a man of God I've cried and rolled in the presence of God crying for my own life so don't don't think that this is just some showmanship three make your way it's not by force it's not compulsory you can choose to sit down but you can choose to say let tonight be that night Lord you have to win this war over my life Four. the Holy Spirit is still speaking to people you may have money you may have anointing you may have cars but let me tell you this the Bible says if your hope is only in this life you are of all men of all politicians of all businessmen of all men of God miserable there has to be a cry from your heart Lord I need you is a sign of humility is there someone still joining them very quickly I want to pray your coming to Jesus means I am ready to close the door to all the friends and personalities in my life that are not ready to head my direction your coming to Jesus is a revelation that Lord I am ready to be serious with you it's not just you are coming as a preamble to receiving a miracle and then you run back no in plenty and in none leaving you is no longer an option in my life hallelujah i want to lead you some of you are crying let me tell you this if you have any loved one who is not saved i hope their names are in your prayer request because i know that some of us if i ask you what is on your prayer request now the only thing is wife husband promotion and and there's nothing wrong with that but let me tell you this is is funny but from heaven you will still see your loved ones in hell you will know they are the ones it's not that you are going to look at them and say i don't know i don't it's a lie you will know that this one is my mother this one now you can't do anything about those who have gone but there are people now you know in your neighborhood around your life It is the Lord's desire that all men be saved. Please, if you are a pastor here, take the issue of soul winning seriously. Be careful. All these things we learn around in the name of mentorship. I believe in men. Be careful. Many people are veering off. There is, a, there is a path that brings power and grace. At the end of your life, you don't want to be a wise master builder. Be, be careful. The flamboyant does not necessarily mean God is there. Be careful. Especially for some of us who are younger ministers, we must be wise. You don't just swallow everything hook, line, and sinker just because it is being done. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There are churches where an altar call is not made for more than two years. Then one day they organize one hilarious, pretentious revival and then just draw one or two people. It's a joke. It's a joke. More than healing, more than miracles, more than getting a job, more than all of this is the eternal destiny of men. I am interested in knowing that I'm not praying for someone going to hell. It's a waste. I'm interested in knowing that I'm not teaching someone a principle to prosper when he's already gone to hell. It's a waste. I will teach you about the finances and the kingdom life when we know that your eternal destiny is secure. Those of us who are standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, just one prayer before I pray for them. Lord, make me serious with you. Make me serious with you. Please pray. 
is a very serious prayer there are some of us you are not going to hell but the truth of the matter is you are not serious with God no mm -mm. there's nothing about God that that can steal your passion is not priority you see people function in the house of God and you say, oh, these ones, it's because they are called into ministry. There's no such thing as that. It's your hunger. Especially for some of us sisters, we have to pray. Lord, make me serious with you. I don't care how many men like you. I don't care what they have told you. If you are not serious with God, your life is in shambles. It's true. Lord, make me serious with you. Let nothing else sustain the ability to take your place in my life. That's a very good prayer. Hallelujah. Come live in me. Oh my Lord. Take over Come live in me And I will rise Hallelujah You are a parent, yeah? When your children get to the age of discretion the moment they can think and they can understand, lead them to Jesus consciously. It is very responsible. Lead them to Jesus. If you have not done so as you go back home, don't just say, my children are smart. Call them. Preach the gospel to them. The moment they, are, they can think, they should be born again. Please, be, take let nobody stay in your roof. You have a neighbor that is squatting with you. He's not serious. It doesn't matter. No, it does. No, it does. No, it does. They can choose to reject Jesus. That's all right. No one goes to hell because he's a sinner. Everybody goes to hell because he rejected Jesus. That is the sin that takes men to hell. I rejected him. I had a choice, but I rejected him. Jesus, carry your load and walk out of my life those of you in front here I truly appreciate you whatever you have in this life if Jesus is not above it is useless let me just tell you the truth I want to lead you in an honest prayer I know some of you are crying overflow one two three those online please listen I'm not asking you whether you're a business mogul I'm not asking you whether you have how many degrees all those things are useless when you are no longer here. I'm going to lead you in an honest prayer and I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Listen to what you are saying and pray it loud. Are you ready now? Say after me with all your heart, passionately, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. This night, I make up my mind and I make a commitment to serve you and to live for you from today till eternity. I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. I declare that my sins are forgiven. I declare that the life of God, eternal life, is mine today holy spirit i receive you as the life of god in my spirit i declare that i'm a child of god forever let me pray for you father i thank you for these ones they have unashamedly come the bible says that if you are ashamed of me before men i'll be ashamed of you before my father jesus speaking lord these ones have come opening their hearts genuinely to receive of your grace. I ask you, oh God, 
you who is the helper of us all help them I declare your sins forgiven I declare that the righteousness of God is at work in you the grace to live a victorious Christian life the grace for passion and intimacy with God is released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ every pain and every legal access the devil has over your life is hereby broken forever in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen I congratulate every one of you now listen I know that some of you are rededicating your life to Christ there are a number of you those in here I just want you to walk out this way and then the various overflows I know that there are people attending to them they will have your details I praise you very quickly and you return back to join us in the service I salute you thank you so much for your courage your life will never be the same God bless you please direct them make sure someone is directing them make sure someone is directing them hallelujah amen please sit down hallelujah there are two ministries that I believe will be reignited in a fresh dimension two very great anointings I really believe with all my heart and and it's been confirmed from different people seasoned veterans of the gospel across the earth number one is the healing ministry I believe that the church has lost a major dimension of the healing ministry it's true even some of us that supposedly walk in it the truth is that most people have not experienced the full import of the healing ministry the healing ministry I'm going to be showing you a few things and then we'll pray we'll get to the business of the night the healing ministry is very important it played a major role the challenge was that most of the healing evangelists got to a point where they were carried away by the healing and no longer Christ and his purposes because the healing ministry is a means is a sign that points men to Jesus it's possible that because of the charismatism around the healing ministry you can veer off and your whole focus becomes the miraculous and not the Christ himself the second ministry that I believe will be experienced is the ministry of wealth and abundance it's true this wealth transfer that you've heard people say I believe that God has suspended that dimension for a reason because as a body we are not yet ready for that dimension the our perspectives about kingdom wealth and finance does not warrant God releasing that level of blessings because for many of us our hearts are still corrupt over the idea of money are we together the average person's idea about money is just some kind of um, it is just a, a quest to get and buy nice clothes and nice cars and prove that I am successful there is a place for that but if that is the scope of your idea then you do not need any wealth transfer are we together yes so God must first walk upon our hearts is the same way years ago there was a very strange manifestation of a lot of things that happened in Zaria angelic feathers gold dust silver dust you know people started having these strange encounters and one I remember one night the Lord told me said I'm withdrawing this experience because it's leading to idolatry it didn't reach one month and that experience was withdrawn people will go to pray and for hours all they are doing is checking their hands to see if there's any gold or silver to use it as an evidence to validate spirituality and God said no if I don't take it away one demon will give it an innocent prayer warrior a feather and he will carry it and idolize it in his room until he begins to mislead another group of people and so God withdrew that experience God only releases experiences to people and territories 
where there is a level of maturity and discernment he knows that when this reality reaches the people they will not abuse it until now as i speak to you there are people who don't understand the purpose of money and it is being abused and so god will not release it until the body is taught the money is safer with bill gates is safer with all of these people than it is with preachers and pastors because they have worked on their minds they are better treasurers for god than us so all it is true that there is a wealth transfer coming but not not some money monger kind of thing it won't come that way anyway i just thought to share that let's look at the ministry of jesus luke chapter 6 I study the Gospels a lot because the ministry of Jesus inspires me. He's the greatest model that I have. And I like, to, I like to study his idea. What did he do? What was captured in his ministry? Luke chapter 6 and verse 17 to 19. Luke chapter 6 verse 17 to 19. This is Jesus now having the sermon on the mount. Okay, I'll just read it from here. And he came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of the disciples, a great multitude of people, listen, out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, who came to hear, now listen carefully, the people came to hear, Amplified says to listen to him, he came to hear him and to be healed there is a relationship between hearing and being healed they didn't just come to be healed they came to hear and to be healed verse 18 or still verse 17 to be healed of all their diseases 18 and they that were vexed with unclean spirits so we see the kind of people that came for Jesus' meetings. Those who were sick. They were sick. Terribly diseased. They came to listen to him. There was something he taught them about listening to his words and the healing power of God. So they came to hear and to be healed. The second category of people we see, they that were vexed with unclean spirits. And they were healed. Unclean spirits. The source of their pain and their discomfort were the presence of unclean spirits. And the Bible says, and the whole multitude, listen, sought to touch him. Why? For there went power out of him to heal them. I love the ministry of Jesus. So the Bible tells us why the people got healed. That there was power. Other versions say virtue. There was something that Jesus had that will lead him into the people. And the moment it entered them, they would discover that their sicknesses were gone. Are we together? Hmm. Acts chapter 10, when you read verse 38, Peter was teaching. That was the salvation of the Gentiles in the house of Cornelius. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 with the holy ghost and with power listen it says who went about doing good went about doing good went about doing good so we see other things that jesus did that were not captured he didn't just heal the sick alone he didn't just deliver the oppressed alone he went about doing good breakthrough is a good thing restoration is a good thing he went about doing good and then healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him any ministry that wants to reproduce Jesus's ministry and and by the way I hope you know that what we do today is an extension of his ministry Jesus's ministry did not end with his ascension to heaven are we together now he said it is expedient that i go why so that the comforter will come it is to your advantage advantageous to you that i go because my transition will allow the holy spirit to come like the mantle of elijah came on elisha 
now that mantle that was on Jesus the spirit himself without measure so that we can partake of that spirit and become an extension of his ministry we are gathered tonight as proof that the ministry of Jesus has not ended we are gathered tonight because we believe that he still heals do you believe that we are gathered tonight because we believe that he still delivers we are gathered tonight because we believe he still does good hallelujah the bible says as the father had sent me this is jesus speaking the father sent me i now send you as the father sent me both in terms of the scope of the assignment and the equipping the father sent me with power and every time i spoke something left me to validate what he said he said so also i sent you you see if the power of god does not back up his word is fraud it is the power of god that validates the truth the potency of god's word so at some point in this service we should expect the power of god to find expression not just in people you know receiving impartations here and they're wonderful but we expect the power of god to heal the sick we expect the power of god to cleanse all kinds of unclean people who are cohabiting with demon spirits that are manipulating their lives and manipulating their results at some point in this service we should see the superiority of light over darkness is that true at some point in this service god should be able to step over your issue to see that that 10 year long issue just dissolves like this just like that is that true if that happens then we can say with all sense of gratitude that we are an extension of the ministry of jesus but listen to me brothers and sisters if this does not happen we are wasting god's time and we are wasting the time of god's precious people that's why we prepare for all of the meetings especially the miracle service because you have not just come to watch a man you have come to see an extension of the ministry of jesus you have come with your requests you have come with your medical reports you have come with your pain you have come with all kinds of oppression you have come with all kinds of closed heaven and you're saying lord if you are the only one i know who can help me let me tell you your coming is faith enough did you hear what i said you're leaving your house to come is faith enough it's true like a patient goes to the hospital once you are in the hospital just leave the rest to the doctor then the doctor begins to prescribe and this is what is happening to us an extension of the ministry of jesus let's look at one scripture mark chapter 1 21 mark chapter 1 and verse 21 and they went into capernaum still the ministry of jesus and straightway on the sabbath day he entered the synagogue and taught it's interesting how jesus held his crusades he would take out time not just to preach but to teach jesus knew that teaching was the system for sustaining anything that the people were to receive are we together if the entire scope of ministry is just miracles alone it, it becomes volatile the people receive it and then it just evaporates but when they are taught it guides their understanding to keep that which they have received you can lose something you have received it's true you can lose healing demons can leave people and re-enter them again but when the word of god is taught it gives you the basis are we together now so jesus taught in their synagogues we're reading it's, it's a long reading let's see how far we can go just keep just continue and they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes 23 and there was in their synagogue i love jesus see how his miracle service was as soon as he just finished preaching it was time to demonstrate the reality of the kingdom and there was in that service a man with an unclean spirit and the demons began to cry out 24 
saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us we know who you are the holy one of god and so on and so forth and jesus rebuked him saying hold your peace and come out of him this is jesus for you this is jesus for you because that man's life was obviously in shambles because there was another spirit that was cohabiting with that individual manipulating his intentions and jesus looked at him this does not reflect the kingdom and he brought that spirit out like it's going to happen to many people the forces and the spirits that are responsible for the results we do not want but keep seeing until they leave all these things are a joke when the unclean spirit had turned him he cried out in a loud voice and he came out of him 27 we're reading down to i think it was 39 or so i just want us to walk through the ministry of jesus and they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority he commanded even the unclean spirits and they do obey him let me tell you this when you command an unclean spirit and it goes it is a big deal did you hear what i said <laughs> doctors can treat sickness they can cast out devils machines can show an elongated lung or heart but it cannot show the spirit sitting there are you hearing what i'm saying these spirits are living entities they can hear they have a system and a structure. They were designed to respect some people and disobey some people. Are we together? They understand ranking in the spirit. So when you issue a command, as Jesus did, and these spirits are forced against their will to leave that individual and that habitation is proof of dominion. Are we together? Yes, it is. It truly is proof of dominion. Look at Jesus used this. The people were astonished. They said our priests and rabbis didn't do this. They couldn't do this. I hope you know that while all the priests used to preach, that man was in the temple and the spirits were hearing. But the words were not potent enough to force them to leave. So they kept coming service after service. May you not be a man of God that cohabits with demons and that people come and sit under your anointing and under your meeting and the demons that cause poverty failure whatever it is you share the grace and they share the grace with you and you go out no sir Haba. what then is the excellency of light over darkness your presence should discomfort the gate of hell so well that there is no pretending about it that's why some of you bring people here you notice you bring them and when they sit down while praise and worship is happening they want to run away it's not them it's not them the devil knows that when you come into an environment that can bring you emancipation satan will revolt and fight and fight again and again but tonight the devil is a liar it's too late really it's too late 28 and immediately his fame spread abroad all through the region round about galilee and forthwith when they were come out of the synagogue they entered into the house of simon and andrew with james and john let's see what happened and simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and anon they tell him of her now jesus is healing we saw him cast out devils he's about to heal now and he came and took her by the hand I love Jesus and lifted her up and how many how long immediately. immediately do you know if Jesus did not touch her she would remain like that and you would think it's the will of God don't trivialize an anointed hand goodness Jesus walks in and says I'm introducing something to this woman's body that until the arrival of that thing the condition does not change that contact the Bible says immediately the fever did what that means the fever was a living thing. It could move. Abba, is it, are you not intelligent people? The fever left. Pastor Alpha left me. 
before Jesus came, the fever was with her. They gave it all kinds of interpretation. Jesus, look at what Jesus did. He didn't talk. He just touched. The Bible didn't say they shall lay hands on the sick and speak. Just by making contact alone. Are you seeing that now? Some, it was about the transference of virtue. And it forced the spirit. There was a separation. That means the discomfort you feel is because there is something with you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. That means that growth, that swelling is a sign that there is something with you. Ah, but the hands of Jesus extended through us. You see that? I, I'm, I'm creating expectation in you. That means that pile would never have been piled until a spirit came in partnership with your body. And just saying pile go is not what will, will make it go. There is an agency that will separate you from that pile. You will call it a miracle. There is no reason to remain sick when the spirit has been separated. Look at it. Immediately, not slowly. So the question is not whether you can be healed. The question is whether the anointing is sufficient to separate that spirit. Because when it happens, the Bible says immediately. And she was so healed, she went straight to the kitchen. Straight to the kitchen from a bed. And he came and took her by the hand and brought unto him all that were there at even when the sun did set. Like Koinonia now, they brought unto him. That means there was an information that had reached town. That when we bring certain people to this man, there was something about him that was able to heal them. They brought unto him all that were what? Diseased. And them that were possessed with devils. See the kind of people that came to Jesus. As a man of God, if these kinds of people are not coming to you, it's not the issue of I'm not called into this ministry. Something is wrong. Because they should discern that the hand of God upon your life should function in a pattern similar to that of Jesus and should make them bring certain people. There are there are creative dimensions that his anointing can bring creation is needed when there is no possibility of having that reality again then you create it not everyone may be sick but let me tell you something everyone needs the hand of God there are some of us our heavens are closed totally and don't act as if it's not important nobody is favoring you no open door you are born again but your life and your door and destiny is closed can you trust god to open this door for you it's not by might it's not by power you heard the testimony of of uh, joy she said an uncle who does not even call her something made that uncle call brothers and sisters because that uncle also has relatives somewhere everybody who blesses you has someone in need around him what makes him to leave them and come to you no are we blessed one question i'll ask you and then we'll begin to pray are you truly tired of the situation you see there's something i think i was sharing with i can't remember who i was sharing this with i was saying pain it was you Jimmy. pain is very important sometimes the only way to let people see your is allow that pain don't stop it because there are people if you have not been pushed to the wall you will not see the need for god for as long as there is somebody answering your prayer for you you will not see the need to be serious so sometimes god deliberately allows it and that pain the day five of your children said daddy is this how we'll continue you just get up and say i'm coming for koinonia today I'm, I'm tired of this that pain was an indication that something is wrong and that it needs remedy fast pain there are people who will never run and come to god but you just press one side of your stomach and you just feel ah something is growing what is this next week the thing increased you told a doctor just touch it and say, ah, i don't want to tell you the name pain just say when is that miracle service said <laughs> 
the power of God is real it can produce miracles it will produce miracles in your life tonight do you believe it I expect that not only would God heal the sick not only will he cast out devils listen carefully I expect that tonight by his spirit he will lift you out of certain captivities lack of favor delay there are some of us who are trusting God to return certain things that left your life for years whoever told you it cannot you heard the lady that said they stole her phone they came with machete and stole her phone I remember she sent me a text that they came to carry a machete foolish thieves they don't know that a body without a spirit is dead the same way you have been carrying a certificate that's the body where is the spirit component that's why you drop it on a table and they throw it in a dustbin but when the spirit component comes let me tell you this God never designed a man to do anything on earth unassisted a spirit entity must assist you even you if you meet a herbalist that herbalist is not alone there is a spirit assisting him you see that yes don't walk through life by your strength and power please help them life will be too hard for you this is the mystery of hardship rejecting the assistance of the spirit i would dare not do ministry without the spirit what else will i be doing but with god with god all things without him you are on your own but when you involve him and not only involve him go a step further by letting him lead the way then your life becomes a wonder i'm showing you many of you are surprised the same surprise was in the bible they were astonished what manner of man is this astonished and then the man if he's wise will tell you look i'm not alone jesus said i'm not alone all these miracles you see i'm being assisted brothers and sisters the result you see in this ministry is a product of assistance the realm of the spirit is in partnership you can't be standing here and someone is shouting outside shouting at overflow no no Habba. words are not hammer but when the spirit is upon them that word will enter you like a drug and all of a sudden you will find out that certain things will go <laughs> it will work in zaria it will work in lagos it will work in london it will work in saudi arabia it will work everywhere are we together the spirits that oppress us must give way I'm, gi I'm taking out time to charge your heart like this because I want you to receive the most important thing is not the ministrations as it were the most important thing is creating this expectation many of us come and we are just hoping um, okay God I know you will bless me in the name of Jesus may God lift you amen I just, well, it was a nice service and you go back and nothing happens you keep watching people come to testify blessed is she that believes the Bible says for unto her not unto them there shall be a performance hallelujah I believe the Lord I came here full of the Holy Ghost and I came here believing with all my heart you are sick get ready to be healed don't 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 say well let's watch and see get ready to be healed you are oppressed of the devil you may not even know you're oppressed you just know that nothing is working in your life I want you to be tired and say God will you bring me here so especially for those of you who came so far Lord will you carry me and bring me here and take me back like that there are some of you in ministry you came to contact fire Lord will you leave me will I leave my members my fellowship and come back here and go back no evidence of favor I believe him I believe that he's a mighty man I believe he's awesome I have seen his hand I have seen his power and ladies and gentlemen I present to you the same God yesterday today forever I present to you the same healer yesterday today 
forever I present to you the same deliverer I present to you the one who took Joseph from the prison overnight I present to you the one who turned Saul to the apostle I present to you the one who turned Rahab to be part of the genealogy of Jesus I present to you your destiny changer I present to you your destiny maker I present to you the anointer of men the one who puts oil upon the head of ordinary people and changes their life I present to you the prosperer the one who can program a climate of favor over a man as though you are holding a child I present to you the one who can give you influence can lift you from nothing and make your life a wonder a specimen an epistle of his hand that's the God I present to you I have given a very nice speech we're about to step back and allow the king of glory ride over this place and let me watch the mountain that stands before him let me watch Zerubbabel oh no no he said who art thou mountain who art thou mountain who art thou infirmity who art thou delay who art thou stagnation before Zerubbabel he said before Zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain Lift your hands, I want to pray. The Lord is starting tonight with an impartation. There is an impartation of the grace for favor. This is what the Lord is telling me. The grace for favor. The grace, I'm about to pray, for favor. Favor is a revelation that God has given me. My life is a testimony of that reality. I want to pray for you now. Believe. Believe as I pray. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare right now. Father. Even as you have revealed to me. From this main auditorium. To overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three and those online Lord I release an impartation for the grace for favor receive it right now in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus I stretch my right hand and I decree and declare step into a new level of favor 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 we need favor in our lives most of the things we pray about are under the office of favor to solve I say it again in the name of Jesus every challenge in your life that only the favor of God can solve I stand before the God who has helped me and has helped this ministry I release upon you an oil of favor take it now in the name of Jesus take favor take favor receive favor in the name of Jesus Christ a strange dimension of favor favor that will surprise you favor that will accelerate your life when a life listen to me when a life has no favor it is clear 
the proof of lack of favor is the absence of helpers in your life not the absence of money you can have money you can have intellect you can have a job but when there are no men in your life you don't have favor the proof of favor is not the coming of money the proof of favor is the rapid response from men to attend to the issues of your life in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that the men that must show up in your life to validate the grace for favor I prophesy them upon you now I call them by prophecy in the name of Jesus upon your business upon your job upon your projects may men arise to help you hallelujah hallelujah there is the grace for favor those of you who are on the social media may have heard of a testimony that had been trending for a while I traveled to Lagos last week and just when we got down from the aircraft on my way going listen carefully something is happening here a young man just walked to me and held me and I looked at him and he said sir remember me I said well I don't remember you what's the story he came here koinonia with a property his property and carried it and gave me as a seed I said what for I mean you're a young man what will you go and tell your wife brothers and sisters from November till now nine properties and one estate came to him a young guy Abba. is it charm what is on you is what brings things to your life it's not what you want it is what is on you in the name of Jesus that anointing that must come on you I declare that it comes on your head right now it comes upon your head right now producing strange results it comes upon your head right now it comes upon your head right now just follow me some of you don't know how you need favor you know you need favor but you don't know what extent i can't imagine that there are human beings that live on this earth without favor you will never be able to be happy on earth no i can you check let's check our lives the truth is for many of us there is no favor it's not that the helpers are not there there has to be something on you to bring them every lifting that God has brought by his grace happened in this Zaria not London Zaria here many of us live unrewarded lives because there is nothing on you drawing men to bless you nobody thinks about you God does not talk to anybody about you a gentleman I think one of these uh, I can't remember one of these Fridays and he stood to see me after the service and he said man of God my life is hard can you help me with some money and I looked at him I said you are not a wise gentleman I know you need money now but you should ask yourself the person giving you the money where did it come from the wiser prayer is for favor I said let's do an experiment I told him I said I will pray for you for favor return next Friday and tell me what happened if nothing happens I will give you money agreed he said yes and I prayed for him and he went brothers and sisters on Monday Monday that's the Monday after that gentleman sent me a text and he said his uncle that he's even fighting with their father that he did a very serious transfer and told him that who helps you in school and he said nobody he said so why have you not been reaching me all of you these proud children and so on and so forth that he was going to start sending him money i said you you believe that that uncle just did it by his will listen this world is too wicked for somebody to just like you that's flattery this wicked world where a man can slaughter a child's head then what makes you believe they will just like you enough to see that you rise 
it takes favor can i pray that prayer for you again in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god you have done your best you have done your efforts you have struggled it's almost killing you now receive the grace for favor receive the grace for favor may your life change by favor receive the grace for favor It is favor that brings resources. It is favor that brings opportunity. There are many gifted people. There's no one to reward them. There are many nice people. Many wonderful musicians. Nobody to place a demand on their grace. It's so annoying when you see someone you are better than. But he has favor and you don't. And yet you have to say yes sir. did not think Mordecai was good enough but favor and he said everywhere you see the chariots of Mordecai bow the knee Mordecai is passing yes a gatekeeper you may not like a person but when favor is on them it will veto whatever you think I pray for you again every door that must open in this season to validate favor I command it to be open now I command it to be open now. Listen. You're not going to build a house by savings. Let me tell you the truth. It's not in today's Nigeria. You're not going to buy a car by saving. No. I practice all these things. You're not going to, to settle and train your children just by saving money. You will need a grace that can accelerate your results. Otherwise, you will never be a giver. You will never. You can't be a giver just by saving peanuts, 10 naira and 100 naira. When there is a demand, life will demand so much from you that if you are not operating under favor, you will be frustrated. And that's how Satan wants to trap men. He will trap you and make your life miserable. Let's release this favor on our families. You have received it for yourself, but let it get to your family. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, every family that is represented here by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let there be a release of favor. Let there be a release of favor. Favor on every family. Favor on every family. Listen, sometimes eh, it is not warfare that destroys, it is even how favor works. Favor can kill to make sure that one person rises. Some of these proud relatives that make fraternities with darkness and sit upon the destinies of families and make ghosts and say for as long as we are there, you must route your success through us. If you attempt to rise without us, you will not rise. I declare that the sword of favor may it get to every family and dislodge everybody who wants to be God in that family. Hallelujah. Favor. In one minute, I want you to begin to mention all the areas you want to see favor and speak. Lift your voice. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Participate. Lord, I release favor concerning this job. Pray. I release favor. I release favor. Favor concerning my building project. I release favor. Are you praying? favor you surround us with favor like a shield you surround us with favor like a shield pray make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus favor like a shield favor 
when my academics pray favor over my job Lord favor 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 hallelujah listen let me tell you the truth you see ba this prayer you are praying if this prayer is truly answered in your life this is how you will stand what is this this favor prayer you see there are people who have touched up this favor they can tell you favor is fearful in its operation is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they carry the crippled man I don't deserve the palace he says still come and the king said you will sit here and eat with me let me tell you how you know it is favor listen favor is not one time when somebody just says hey, Jimmy, I want to give you water what that's just goodness favor is I want to keep blessing you I want to continue doing this many of us what happens is that we are mistaken goodness for favor someone just appear once and just says look i want to help you and it never happens again when it is favor a process is ignited it keeps following like that it's true study the things in your life you'll be able to separate goodness from favor there are things that just happen one time but favor favor continues so i'm seeing fire on my hands and I want to pray because the Lord wants to bless the works of our hands. Listen, whether you are on a job or whatever it is, you see, these hands you see, they are, it's a mystery. It says, the, the hand of God, it was with this hand God made man. Are we together now? This hand you see is a symbol of your productivity and if it is not blessed it will bring struggle to you i want to pray I'm, I'm seeing fire on my hands and i want to pray because for many of us who are getting results but our results are too small i stretch these hands the fire that the lord put upon this hand in the name of jesus i release it let it come upon your hands let it come upon your hands representing your job your academics your business whatever it is that you're involved in i release i stretch my hands may that may that fire come upon you in the name of jesus christ you go back with that hand and write a proposal and it will shock you what will happen you go back with that hand listen listen believe this and pick up a document and submit and someone collects it and is under the influence of what your hand brought it's true it's true why does god do these things to give us rest so we can serve him why does god open doors to give you rest financial frustration and all kinds of related frustrations are strategies from Satan to distract you and make you to keep seeking things. You never will truly be able to seek God when certain things have not been solved in your life. It's true. You can't give God your best when you are still thinking of what to eat. You are thinking of what to wear. But when God takes those things away, your prayer life becomes worship, not just hours of petition in the flesh. hallelujah hallelujah overflow two there's someone the anointing of the spirit is coming on someone overflow two the overflow by the roadside bring the lady hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done Overflow to the overflow by the road. Please, quickly, we have to hurry up. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Wait to pray for 
you see. Can I talk to you, madam? This woman, please tap her for me. Come. There is a spirit that doesn't want this woman to rise. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening the eyes of your parents. I'm seeing the Lord opening their eyes to a realization of something the devil has been using in the name of Jesus, especially for this lady. I command it so now in the name of Jesus Christ that every conspiracy of darkness over you and your family is hereby crushed to pieces in the name of Jesus. Madam, I don't know who you are, but let me pray for you. There is a spirit. I look at you and I see a woman who should be walking in certain realms of favor. You love the Lord, but this is like it's like a trap. You just cannot move and make progress. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. As I pray for you, madam, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release this woman the devil has put something in this lady's stomach this lady you are holding I command in the name of Jesus remove that evil you have put now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm about to pray and I'm already seeing a vision of what will happen there will be such a massive 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 deliverance now let it not surprise you I've explained to you what this thing is. It's a separation. You should rejoice when it happens because it means that you are entering a new season. 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 A new season, new season, a 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 new season. In the name of Jesus, the anointing of the Spirit is around this area. A new season, a new season. God is breaking something here. A new season, a new season. A new season. Someone is entering it right now. A new season. A new season. Young lady, you are entering a new season. A new season by the Spirit. A new season. 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 Something is breaking. Breaking. I don't need to walk everywhere. I'm just walking as the Holy Ghost is leading me. A new season. Something is breaking. Break it, break it. A new season. There is a cloud of glory. There is a cloud of glory. A new season. No force can stand it in your life. There is an anointing here. There is an anointing here. A new season. Something is breaking here. Right now in the name of Jesus. Something is breaking here in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, receive it. Something is leaving you. Something is leaving you. It must go. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, shake it, take it, take it, and take it. New season, new season. I stretch my hand. Something is breaking here. There's someone an anointing is coming on you, breaking a limitation right now. In the name of Jesus. that spirit leave that lady now in the name of Jesus
hands everyone it's time to command every force every spirit I'm going to pray for you listen listen as I pray for you listen it doesn't matter where you are provided there is a spirit entity that is waging war in your life let me tell you the truth by the God whom I serve as I make this declaration the words will live like a sword from me and it will come and create that separation I want you to bring them out overflow one two three wherever in the mighty name of Jesus the God of Jeshurun I decree and declare that every force sitting on your destiny as you count three as you count Jesus at the count of three let there be deliverance one two three let them go now let them go now witchcraft manipulations of darkness in the name of Jesus I command a separation through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit I decree I set it as an ordinance in the spirit I announce liberty liberty bring them out Jesus Christ if there is any family that has been covenanted to any elements of the supernatural whether the earth whether fire that people pass through fire to make ordinances at the count of three I command those ordinances set on fire one two three let there be liberation right now every family Covenanted to the waters, covenanted to the air, to trees. I set you free now. And I'm seeing or your state or your state this is the hand of God the sword of the Spirit going to all your state bringing deliverance there are times that God moves this way in the name of Jesus I command whoever is from that region may the power of God begin to touch you now may the power of God begin to touch you now complete liberty complete liberty complete liberty Overflow three, please lift your hands. Just watch your screen and lift your hands. Overflow three. Don't worry, you, you, they, you, you don't have to bring them. The distance is far. Overflow three, just look at me. I see the angels of the Lord doing something there. At the count of three, overflow three, I want you to shout the name Jesus because I'm seeing swords. That's what I'm seeing. And the Lord is bringing a massive, massive breakthrough massive deliverance in the name of the Lord Jesus overflow three are you ready I'm seeing chains of stagnation about to leave you 
right now in the name of Jesus everyone under any kind of oppression at the count of three shout Jesus one two three supernatural liberty supernatural liberty and a pouring of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly hold on guys hold on hold on hold on please i want to pray the lord is showing me something that is very interesting the lord wants to break cycles there are people every season certain things happen every september somebody must die every three three years somebody married must divorce in the name of jesus lift your hands you don't have to ask whether or not you are involved don't worry the anointing will look for you i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus the power that activates cycles demonic cycles over the lives of people so that certain patterns and events keep repeating themselves in the name of jesus i stretch my hands call that lady back that lady lift your hands my dear god is not done with you i look at you and i see oppression there is something that the devil has put in you if i don't pray for you very soon they will start telling you you will start feeling pain they will say fibroid in the name of jesus i stretch my hands i command that devil let her go now in the name of jesus christ every cycle over anyone's life are you ready to shout jesus now at the count of three to surprise you what god will do one two get ready three the chain of circles be broken cycles cycles of failure cycles of miscarriages cycles of unfruitfulness by the sound of the spirit be broken now hallelujah be broken now I want to pray um please this man I don't know who the this man yes please quickly we are soon going to pray for the sick I may not have time to prophesy to individuals I'm standing near this lady and I'm seeing a snake this is what I see in the name of Jesus I cursed that devil I'm not seeing a human being I'm seeing a snake in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ overflow one I'm seeing the power of God this I just mentioned snake and I was seeing serpents just moving at overflow one right now I'm seeing it's like a sword dividing those snakes that's what I'm seeing it's happening to people at overflow one in the name of Jesus let it be over now snakes and scorpions the mystery the mystery of snakes and scorpions he said I give you authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy sir I want to pray for you I don't know whether you came here for you have been but, coming here uh, but i was tra i traveled before that so i have not been coming i want to pray for you yes sir if i don't pray for you the devil is going to kill you i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you inside a coffin they have already closed you i'm not a prophet of doom i want to pray for you you love jesus be careful so that they don't bring these herbal things for you huh uh, is that true yes sir Looking at you and i'm seeing them bring something for you to yes. help you yes sir that thing is a charm yes, it's sir. not happy it's charm yes. native yes. doctor yes sir huh? yes, that's sir. what will even kill you yes, sir. it's not going to solve your problem yes, sir. the people doing it are well-meaning yes, but the truth is that they are going to kill you for nothing yes, sir. Yes, sir. thank you sir because you are not even responding to it the way they say you should respond to it yes, and you violate it will destroy you yes, sir. can i pray for you you have you have taken something in your system now that we even destroy you listen let me tell you when you are pressed we are humans and we can be pressed to the wall going to the devil to get a charm is is you are facilitating your destruction if satan gives you tea here he will hold a knife and stab you at the back father by the mercy of god 
I pray for this man. Let him not die. In the name of Jesus, I close the gate of the grave over your life. In the name of Jesus, both the herbalist and the conveyor of those charms, in the name of Jesus, we scatter that shrine into pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, sir. The Lord perfects you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Something is leaving this lady. Oh dear, she's vomiting. I'm looking at her and I'm seeing something. Agnes. God is not done with that guy or that young man with bloom. Please, if you are not Agnes, don't come here. Please. Your name is Agnes. Where are you from? I need to pray for you. I'm seeing an attack on your life. This attack is coming from Calabar. Huh? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sir. I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Cross River. You are from Cross River? Yes, sir. Come. I must pray for you. Kai, there is somebody the Lord is setting the person free. I'm seeing a friend going to a herbalist and they are asking the friend to give somebody and they wrote the name of that person. You are here now. In the name that is above all names. I'm serious. Don't think I'm just hyping you. In the name of Jesus, whoever's name has been written by any demonic friend or whatever herbalist in the name of Jesus because that person you keep seeing dead, dead people you even saw yourself in a coffin in the name of Jesus I curse that spirit now I'm going to pray for you and then we are going to pray for the sick right now ah. There is some serious deliverance. I'm, I'm seeing something happening in the realm of the spirit. This is, this is, this is a serious. Father, let this lady be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, you, this lady, come. You love Jesus? Huh? Yes, sir. Come. You... I'm not condemning you, eh? Look at me. You have to be very serious with God. One, two, friends. Look at me. God has delivered you many times. You would have destroyed yourself, eh? You're a small girl. You need to love God with all your heart. Please be very careful so you don't go and put yourself in something that will destroy you. I love you, eh? I love you and that's why I'm telling you this. You need, you need somebody to counsel you and follow you up. Hmm? I'm not going to say everything I'm seeing, but you have to be careful. Because it's God that saved you now. I'm seeing something, a virus. Anyway, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for your daughter. Help her by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Of Jesus Christ. I'm standing and I'm seeing a tree. And that tree is this lady. And something that was planted and the Lord is saying uproot it I uproot this thing now in the name of Jesus Christ I uproot it now the Spirit of the Lord is taking me to Benway State I've never been there physically but I'm seeing Benway Benway and I'm looking and I'm seeing like a tractor pushing trees down it's like there is a covenant that has to do with trees in the name of Jesus Christ if there is any family involved in this I command and uprooting every tree that has not been planted help them by my father every tree I see Benway State in the mighty name of Jesus let there be an uprooting an uprooting an uprooting and uprooting in the name of Jesus let me pray for you my dear you are a nice lady but there's bad luck in your life 
very bad luck and the Lord wants to help you father help your daughter in the name of Jesus Christ bad luck be gone now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord help you come my dear let me pray for you I'm about to pray for the sick now our time is gone in the name of Jesus Christ there are some my spirit is heavy to prophesy but because we have to I want us to pray for the sick so that I can just make those declarations we may not have time for one-on-one -on -one prophecy but I'm telling you God wants to touch touch a lot of people my dear I want to pray for you in Jesus name the Lord is rolling away the reproach in your family rolling away the reproach in your family in the name of Jesus my dear look at me you are entering a new level of lifting you that's what I'm praying for you for I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on your head and the Lord is saying I should tell you that is a new level of lifting you this lady looking at me I prophesy it over your life in the name of Jesus Christ who is this who Agnes Agnes where is she Abuja. Abuja, sir. your sister yes father in the name of Jesus I pray for this lady where is she Abuja, sir. she loves Jesus yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ pray that no man will come into her life and destroy her eh? in the name of is she married uh, in no. the name of uh, whatever it is in the name of Jesus Christ may God help you mama come let me pray for you it's your season of breakthrough come is this your child come boy come I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing that God is going to use him this is a small boy boy how are you the, the boy doesn't even know but I'm going to pray for him Samuel did not know that he would become a great prophet one day when Eli he was just an innocent boy I'm going to pray for him mama please stand up I will pray for you look at me ma please don't be embarrassed but the Lord is saying he wants to take suffering from your life this thing they call in house wahala God wants to take it from your life you are a very sincere woman that loves the Lord but this this cause of hardship um, this woman loves the Lord with all her heart. Father, you, what's, what's the name of this boy? Riba. Huh? Lifted. Okay. Your name is Lifted? Yes. Father, I lay hands on Lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ, use him mightily. We are all products of your grace. Lift him and use him mightily. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I pray for you in the name of jesus christ and i'm telling you this the month of april is your month of strange breakthrough in the name of jesus christ the month of april is your month of breakthrough azuka come lift the camera first let me pray for you and then you keep the camera i want to pray for you because i'm seeing a big project coming for you and this project is going to lift you this is something that has to do with your snapshot but God is bringing someone. It's been something you have desired that God will bring someone to open a door. And truth, you have been faithful. You have even been serving in this house. But I want to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, lift him. Take him to that dimension of grace. I release that anointing upon you. It will no longer be an ordinary camera. I call forth men that will lift you. I command it so. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ open doors for you open doors for you in the name of jesus christ come this lady um sarah come there is witchcraft in your family i have to pray for you this thing is affecting everybody in the family everybody everybody not there's no exception everybody lord take away this plague of witchcraft in the name of jesus christ wonderful people beautiful ladies but all kinds of trouble from the pit of hell in the name of jesus christ i silence the voice of the accuser i silence the voice of the accuser i silence the voice of the accuser 
in the name of Jesus Christ we are going to pray for the sick now listen I know that there are a number of people who came here sick and a number of you have come trusting God for healing and miracle let me pray for this lady how many of you have your prayer request now lift it up ushers your prayer request those online make sure we collect it this this lady let me have her hands lord jesus let this trap of darkness over this family represented by this lady give way now in the name of jesus christ just hold her gently she'll be fine submit your prayer request quickly now we are going to pray for the sick don't allow any nonsense remain in your body no matter how small make sure you insist that it leaves make sure you insist that it leaves we are going to be very fast please we'll be very fast now let me say this when you stand to receive healing don't just stand and be staring as if you are sleeping let your heart be open are we together number two accept whoever is praying for you ask you what is wrong you don't have to say okay it is my ears or my don't worry don't worry the people praying for you have been trained and the anointing of the spirit will touch it doesn't matter what auditorium it's a corporate grace that is working here hallelujah and for all of us who are seated whilst this is happening make sure you are praying because i'm, I'm literally sensing as if i want to throw up is the spirit of prophecy there's there's something that the lord is putting in my spirit to release and that's why i want to pray for the sick quickly so that we will pray this prophecy if we do this i'm satisfied in this service we have to be very fast so that we'll conserve time hallelujah jesus someone please help with collecting the request make sure that even those at the extremes of the road their requests are collected please everybody father in the name of jesus we pray by the ministry of the spirit several people serving as contact points but we pray that your power and your life will touch the sick lord your people have come some of them with incurable diseases some of them with all kinds of devils i decree and declare that your anointing will prevail over every challenge let your people return with testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please be seated while you pray for a while as we pray for these people pray spiritualize yourself make sure that you are submitting your request and make sure you are praying thank you jesus my beautifier you have taken away the shame taking away the pain you make my life so beautiful my beautifier you have taken away the shame taking away the pain you make me just like you my beautifier my beautifier you have taken away taking away the shame taking away the pain taking away the pain make my life so make beautiful my life so beautiful my beautifier my beautiful you have taken away taking away the shame taking away the pain Make me just like you. Make me just like oh, you. my beautiful, my beautiful. You are taking away, taking away the shame, taking away the pain, taking away the pain. Make me just like you.
patient of days. I put them all in you. All in you. Say, my trust is in you. Uh huh. Lay on up to die.
begin to pray in the spirit Please make sure, make sure everyone's request is here. In the name of Jesus. of your life, your power, your might, your faithfulness. Lord, in this month of February, we look to you again to surprise us. Lord, represented here are the requests of people from several nations of the world and several across this nation. In the name of Jesus, Joshua Selman cannot answer any man's prayer. So Lord, I transfer the trust of your people to you. The one who is able to meet every need. And on the strength of the grace that only comes from you. And in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. The resurrected lamb. The one who is most victorious. I prophesy and I turn every request here. To become a testimony in the name of Jesus. As I walk through these requests in the name of Jesus that is exactly how your people walk through every challenge every challenge every challenge no matter what it is I decree and declare that the grace to triumph above it is released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ listen to me no matter what it is no matter what it is provided it found its way here in the name of Jesus Christ the same hand that wrote it is the same hand that receives the testimony the same hand that wrote it is the same hand that will receive the testimony there are people who need to lack sleep for these prayers to be answered may they lack the sleep there are people who need to be promoted for this prayer to be answered. May they be promoted. There are agents of darkness that must be laid to rest for these prayers to be answered. May they be laid to rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. If they are still praying for you in any of the overflows, don't worry. You can just connect with them while I pray for you. By the grace of God, you will not write your request twice. I thought I was done, but I just felt drawn again to it. Whatever it is that you wrote here that requires a creative miracle, that means the solution is not currently in existence anywhere. May the one who created the heavens and the earth create your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you as long as God grants me the grace I will never stop prophesying over you it is the greatest thing I think I can do if I give a word of knowledge because I'm limited by time and I'm limited by my own understanding and my level of alignment to God I may not be able to accurately address everyone but when it comes to prophecy everyone can receive are we together now Wherever you are, you can receive. 
you've heard the testimonies you've seen the things that happen the bible says everyone who speaks let him speak according to the measure of grace there are some things this anointing can do and let's trust god that it happens in your life let's pray lift your hands father in the name of jesus christ i pray that for everyone here who started this year in tears already that from january february you've not known joy i declare that as this week ends that's how your trouble and your sorrow ends too the bible says no weeping endures for a night it says but joy comes with the morning i decree and declare the kind of testimony that will make you get down on your knees and say lord i've seen you bless me but not this dimension may the god i serve release it to you anyone here jobless or trusting god for a better job in the name of jesus between now and march miracle service return with your miracle job Return with your miracle job. Return with your miracle job. Anyone here due for promotion and whether based on tribal sentiments or whatever it is, you've been kept at a level. In the name of Jesus, I open the doors for you. Rise to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every manifestation of delay in your life others move forward but when it gets to your turn something just clamps you in one position or slow progress slow progress is as destructive as delay I command speed to your life I speak speed to your life I prophesy speed to your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare every advantage that the enemy has over your life in the name of Jesus this is the season where all those doors are closed forever I pray for those in business here I speak over it the grace for multiplication let it come upon your business in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those who are trusting God to correct certain things in their lives it may be results for students it may be something it may be a mistake of the past you've seen God correct things in strange ways here I command supernatural correction for you for every student here that the result you are holding is not your real result I don't care how long in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, we correct it right here. Anyone here involved in any kind of project, building project, whatever major project, you or your loved ones, I decree and declare the finisher's anointing comes upon that project. In the name of Jesus Christ. let me pray over your finances listen let me tell you this the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall ye be established he said believe in his prophets so shall ye prosper if you truly believe god will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i pray for you i give you two weeks from today in the name of jesus christ that between now and the next 14 days let something notable happen to your finances listen I don't want you to think as I'm praying you are thinking oh God will use a B leave whoever God will use to him I'm not talking business in the name of Jesus I say it again between now and the next 14 days may the lifter of men surprise you in your finances 
Hallelujah. Every gift of the Spirit that you had once seen in your life and for some reason is either depleting in the grace for dispensing it or not there again. I prophesy supernatural activation right now. Supernatural activation right now. The supernatural grace for soul winning, drawing people to God, a strange grace that will not give you peace until people are coming to Jesus through you. I release that grace over you. I release that grace over you. I release that grace over you. Take that grace now. The grace to validate signs and wonders that through your hand, listen, not just through Joshua Selman, in the name of Jesus, those hands that are stretched towards me, I prophesy to you the unction to walk in strange miracles. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace to reproduce the miracles in this house. I release that grace, young and old, male or female. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I speak over your life that as you utter words concerning the destinies of men, you will watch them come to pass with your very eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever needs to make peace with you, I decree and declare, the grace of God compels them to make peace with you. Hallelujah. Whoever has been directed by God to bless you and the devil is stopping them from obeying God is not necessarily financial. It may be to bless you with an information, access, opportunity. Whoever is supposed to bless and lift you and in the name of Jesus the devil wants to stop them I clear the way for your contact with them in the name of Jesus anyone here who needs an urgent breakthrough Maybe something that has to do with house rent or maybe something that involves the police. Just something that if God does not intervene, the embarrassment is going to be serious. I pray that between now and Sunday, the God that I serve, you may not see the wind, you may not see the rain, but brothers and sisters, may my God step in and surprise you. We're rounding up. Whatever has covered the glory of God upon your face so that people cannot see and partake of that grace and also reward you, I tread that veil into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I pray for any and everyone here suffering from any kind of barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ by next miracle service you come back pregnant I say it again by next by next month miracle service you return with your baby in your womb in the name of Jesus the spirit that makes you see what you want but never hold it is close to you you see it they promise you and say by tomorrow i will do something then in the night something happens in the name of jesus everything your eyes have seen i put it in your hand everything your eyes have seen i put it in your hand hallelujah finally i call your destiny helpers from the north, the south, the east, the west, whether they are in this country or outside this country, I don't know how God will make them meet you, but I declare they must meet you in the name of Jesus. They will not only meet you, they will bless you in the name of Jesus. They will not only bless you, they will continue blessing you. 
I multiply dreams and visions and encounters in your life. Whatever has choked away your prayer life. You used to pray for two, three, four, five hours. Now you pray for 10, 15 minutes. You are drowsy, you are tired. It's an attack. It is an attack. It is the devil. You used to be consistent. But right now you wake up in the night. You pray for 10 minutes. You are snoring back. In the name of Jesus, tonight, let there be revival upon your prayer life. Revival over your prayer life. The appetite to study the word. You once had it, but it went away. And for some of you, you've not read your Bible since last Friday. It's not that you don't want to. The grace to make it happen is no longer there. I command tonight, may that fire for the world come upon you. Hallelujah. For all your loved ones who are connected to you, whether they are born again or not, because you came here tonight, I stretch my hand. May the grace and the blessing that came to you, may it get to them too. In the name of Jesus Christ, give Jesus a clap. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.